Russia loses last Black Sea missile ship. Putin demands better protection. This post received a score of 26,000, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. If they sink the remaining ships, Ukraine won't be able to sink any more ships. Protected by hundreds of meters of water, the Ukrainians will never find them there. The stealthiest submarines the Russian Navy has to offer. Once submerged, they are amongst the most silent subs on the planet. As soon as the banging on the hull stops. Damn, bro, that's cold. As is that ship. Even Putin is complaining about unsustainable losses now. Should have demanded better protection before he lost them all. Classic mistake. Ooh, we were supposed to underscore protect underscore the ships. I'm sorry I gotta plead ignorance on this one. If I knew we were supposed to protect the ships, I would never have let them be sunk. We're going to sink every damn ship there is in the Black Sea. Putin, circa 2022. What a complete and utter CF. 1. Deter NATO. Nope NATO got bigger, stronger. 2. Prevent Ukraine from moving towards the West. Nope Ukraine becoming EU member. 3. Secure Crimea for the fleet. Nope move fleet to Russia 4. Secure Ukrainian resources and grow European markets. Nope lost Europe as a market. Dude what were you thinking? Honestly if the initial invasion would have been successful it's possible things would be very different now. It was a gamble and Putin got way too confident. Edit. Since so many of you corrected me, I emphasize I mean the initial invasion of the February 22nd offensive. The Russians started the war already in 2014 by invading Crimea. Apparently it all came down to an attack on the capital airport. Some troops were supposed to secure it and make way for heavy planes to land with armor and troops. But it failed and thus the capital and government remained standing. Battle of Hostomol will go down in the history books. Russia's finest soldiers, VDV, secured the airport from sparse Ukrainian resistance. They had helicopters and light aircraft actually landing supplies, but the Ukrainians counterattacked and destroyed the airfield with artillery which left some Russian paratroopers stranded. Without armored protection and denial of airspace, the Ukrainians made mincemeat of those soldiers with mortar and artillery fire. Also the shoot-down of an IL-76 which was carrying another batch of VDV soldiers proved pivotal. Ukrainians also shot down the commander of the operation what left troops without structure and aims to go for. What a lucky shot from the few they fired over the reservoir. Tail as old as time. Take out Russian command structure. The unit dies or runs. Take out a Western command structure. Things get spicy. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.